Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about how do we not attach or attract energies. Okay, now first thing that we have to understand is that energy is not something that we can see. It's like a frequency, a vibration. It emits from everything. Living people, living plants, vehicles, furniture, clothing, even down to my pen. Trees, plants, all hold energy. Everything contains energy. So that means that everything runs at a frequency. Now, if you look at like the HZ Hertz, they go from low frequencies up to high frequencies, yeah? So what happens is, when you operate, or anything operates, I should say, at a set frequency, then it attracts in what else is at that same frequency. So when we lower our vibrations, or we raise our vibrations, we now don't get attached, or consumed, or attracted. Um, attached to those other frequencies yeah so the world right now today is the 8th of November 2021 the world is going crazy I've noticed it every time I leave the house there's people going crazy we are blaming we are accusing we're judging we're trying to portray what we feel is to be correct yeah we're seeing it I'm not accusing anybody of doing this, but if you look at other people around you, you know, your friends, your family, your co-workers, your neighbours and anyone else in your community, you will notice this. Even drivers on the road are now driving erratically. They feel privileged, like they deserve something because everybody doesn't like losing their control. And that's what it comes down to here. Everybody is feeling the lack of of control we all have these ideas you know from being a kid I'm gonna grow up I'm gonna get this job I'm gonna get this house I'm gonna get a partner I'm gonna have kids I'm gonna travel I'm gonna own this I'm gonna own that so we do have these set beliefs in our head of things that we want yeah so when external forces whether it be governments health officials or policing or any other official out there could be even your supervisor or your manager could even be a neighbor okay a neighbor when we've got these ideals from these external people and it goes against what we believe we've got to start not only protecting what we are but we've also got to stop their energy from coming into our own. So as I said, everybody, everything right down to my pen has an energy field. Okay. We just can't see it. So quick, simple ex example that I always say, how do we feel our own energy is to rub your hands together. And now I'm already feeling the heat between my fingers as I rub my hands together and if I do it harder and harder oh my god I can feel that heat that heat is friction which is science but it's also energy so when we put our hands around us after we do this we can actually feel our own aura which is our own energy field you'll feel it I play this game I'm just going to do a little tangent here but I play this game with people and what I can do, because this is something I can do, it's like a little party trick. You rub your hands together, do it for about a minute or two, so it really gets the energy going, right? And then what I do is I bring my hands together where I can feel it. There it is, I've got it. I can feel the other hand. I can feel the energy. So what I can do now, are you ready for my party trick? I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm tickling my other hand through the energy so that's why oh god that's all itchy 
So we can do this. So if you want to practice this, now please do not impede on other people's free will, okay? Everything has to be consensual, okay? But if you do want to test this out with other people that you live with or your animals or something, you do this. Now, I'll just use um, I'll use my pen because I've shown you my pen. This has got an energy field, right? So when you do this, you bring your own energy in to where you feel the pen's energy because it's pretty stagnant, so it's only a little. But then you can push it over. Or if it's a person that you're practicing this on, you can actually scratch them and they'll feel it because it's through the energy. Okay? How cool is that? So next time you're in a queue at a shopping center or somewhere, what you do is you stand there, you know, in a queue behind somebody and you rub yourself together and you can actually tap them on the shoulder without touching them and see if they scratch their arm. This stuff works because I can do this. You can do this too. So this is a way of showing us that our energy can transfer from one person to the next, yeah? Right? So how do we stop it? Everything operates at its own frequency, as I just explained. Some are up here, some are down here, right? So I'm not judging where we all are on our frequency. Yes, that's just my computer doing something, okay? So what we've got to do is we set this boundary within our mind of what we do and don't want. So how do we do this? There's a couple of ways that we can stop other people's energies by coming into our own. The first one, which is the one I use, I'm going to show you how I do this. I've seen the movie Captain America with Chris Evans. Not a bad movie, okay? I'd give it about, personally, I'd rate that about seven, seven and a half out of ten, right? So, Chris Evans has got a shield. You know Captain America's shield? In the movie, that's made of vibranium. Vibranium does not exist, okay? But what that metal in the movie does is anything that hits it repels back to the other person. So what I do, because I've seen it in the movie, so my brain now thinks that it's real because I've seen it, I put up this shield of vibranium. So I put my hand like I'm holding the, sh the shield and I've got this big shield here. So whatever comes in, bing, it vibrates because that's vibranium. It vibrates back to the person who it came from or institution or the body I'll just call it body like a government body police body everything else body okay so whatever is putting out this energy it reflects and goes back to them remember here like attracts like okay if our, you remember our frequency range someone here will attract in someone here if someone's up here and someone's down here they don't they will never get on, okay? So, when we think about how not to attach to someone else's energies, we've got to stay in our own field of energy and repel what is brought to us, okay? So, remember this little thing I just did? Do that again. Because now that you've got the feeling on your hand, it's easier now to imagine because we can't see it, so we have to manifest it because it's real. It does exist. We've got this energy field all the way around us. So what some people do is they imagine an egg, a simple egg of pure white light because eggs are white, so it's easy to visualize. So imagine an egg. And now imagine that egg ooh, grows in size and it's all around us. An egg. So my energy now is inside this egg and no one else's energy can come in because of the eggshell. Some people use a bubble. So you imagine this big white bubble around you, white, 
Why white? Because white is the universal loving energy color. So always go with white. It's the most purest of the colors. And it does exist in heaven. I saw a lot of things when I was up in heaven that were white. Okay? So you imagine this big white bubble around you. All around your head, right down covering your toes. Other people build an igloo. Okay, so you know how they build an igloo out of um, ice. One brick on another, brick on another, brick on another, brick on another, and you build it, build it, build it, and you make it all around you, but you keep going down under your feet as well. So you could build this out of brick. You could build it out of concrete. You can build it out of straw. You can build it out of any metal that you want or other fibre. So once you've got this big igloo around you, brick, 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 brick work all around you, nothing can come in. Or does it? Because now that we've set up this boundary, we've now got to set the intention. So whenever I hold my Captain America shield, and it's this big shield which goes all the way around me, it encompasses my whole body, I say these words. Everything inside this bubble of my own electricity or energy or my frequency or my vibration can stay. But I give no right. I give no permission. I evict any other energy associated to any other person or entity or energy field out there. You have no right and no permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit, or energy field. I go to all five. Some people just say mind, body, soul. Some people just say energy field. I cover all five. So I'm going to repeat them again. Mind, body, soul, spirit, or energy field. You have no right. So nick off. You have no right and no permission. Now, with regards to intentions, what are intentions? Our intentions are our thoughts of what we want to manifest. If I want to go into the kitchen and make a cup of coffee, I have that intention of the end result to make a cup of coffee. So I have a thought process going through my head. Dick, 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 dick. I've got to walk out to the walk down the hallway, around the corner, into the kitchen. Then I've got to boil the kettle, get a mug, put the coffee and sugar and the milk in there, get a stirring stick, chick, 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 wait for the kettle to boil, and then I make my coffee. Okay, that's an intention. An intention is the end result. What is it that I wanted to do? Make a cup of coffee. So in this instance, when I want to repel or get rid of any other negative energy that's around me, that's attaching to me. Tell it to nick off. Put out there an intention. You are not welcome. You are not invited. And most of all, you have no consent to attach or attract to my energy. Okay? Because right now, what's happening all over the world is that people are getting all these vibrations coming in. So let me go there. How does this feel? People are getting lethargic. They're getting fatigued. They want to sleep all day. They can't think. They just want to stay in bed and just not worry about anything else that's happening. Because they're getting affected by external energy forces. So tell it to nick off. I swear like a trooper. When I'm getting rid of energy, my neighbor used to come over, Allie, bless her soul, because she died two years ago, but she used to come across the road and say, Linda, I can hear you screaming. Who are you swearing at? And I say, mate, I'm getting rid of all the negative energy in my house. I'm telling it clearly to F off. You've got no right, no permission, and I give you no consent to stay. Because the more conviction that we put in our voices, the more it amplifies and it's building that energy within us. So it goes out there like a boom, 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 boom of energy where it can't go anywhere else but to nick off. Because my energy is here. 
when there's negative energies coming in, and I'm saying, neck off, booja, it has no other alternative but to go. So whether you want the Captain America shield, you might build this igloo of bricks, concrete, straw or hay. You may put this white bubble around you. Doesn't matter what you use because it's your thoughts. But as soon as you put out that intention, my energy is good. You, wherever you are, because we can't see them, remember, your energy cannot come into my field. I give you no right, you have no permission, and you have no consent. That's the big one, okay? So how do we stop people, energies, from attaching to us? Tell it to neck off with a capital F, because I swear all the time at negative energies, okay? And I have to keep professional on YouTube because I may get banned if I swear. So I can't do it for real on here, okay? So whenever, you know when you wake up in the morning, you're in a really good mood and then you go to the shops and you leave the shops or wherever you are, workplace or your neighbours or your family or whoever else you interact with and you come out of there and you think, wow, now I feel really yucky. What happened? I was in a really good mood this morning. Now I feel black. You stand there. So now we've identified, we've identified that this energy is not what we had in the morning. I've identified that I've now got this energy on me. I can't see you, but I can tell you to neck off with a capital F. You have no right to stay on me. Neck off now. Okay? Because that is how we stay true to our own energy field. That is how we raise up our own energy field. So we are stronger more conductive energy so we can then go out and concentrate we can then go out and critical think we can go out there and be supportive to other people who are in need at this point because there's so many people in need okay so that is how we stop attaching and attracting in other people's energies okay so I hope that's helped us today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch us all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.